My voice is really, really deep because I just woke up to this beautiful website, k k o t a k u dot com. I'll go ahead and put this link down below. But here we go. We got a Fiesta, the Undead Skylander, with his own a mariachi band. They keep doing it. They keep reinventing what's going on. Look at this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my thoughts on this character. My daughter loves the Book of Life. If anybody's seen that movie, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Please look at this character. Whoa, with a horn, right, as a weapon. I can't, I couldn't even come up with this character. No way, this is awesome. Look at the way he's standing. Look at the the bones coming off this side of the uh, motor. Look at the eyes. Me and my wife, we always love looking at the pictures of like wedding, people in wedding dresses dressed up as, but they got skull makeup on. The Day of the Dead. Um, I forget what it's actually called and what what time they celebrate it, but um, it's it's such a cool festival that they do and um, um, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, looks just like the Book of Life character. It looks awesome, little hat behind him, a little sombrero, whatever sombrero, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here's a little bit of story right here. Despite being undead, Fiesta has always been the life of the party. He was once the head member of the popular mariachi band in the personal court of the court Moneybone, who all um, who all undead citizens respected immensely. In his spare time, Fiesta and his bandmates played music for all the new arrivals that entered the underworld. However, a day came when he knew when the new arrived rivals were actually several Skylanders who had come on a mission to stop the Count Moneybone from unleashing a robot army on all of the Skylands, Fiesta then realized that he, like so many others, had been fooled by the evil Count into by the evil Count into thinking he was kind of generous, not the vengeful monster he truly was. Unknowns to the Skylanders, Fiesta and his bandmates helped to distract the robot army so they could infiltrate Moneybone's mansion and put a stop to him. Even though the Skylanders were unaware, the act of bravery and defiance did catch the attention of Master Eon who received him at once. And now we're going to see the vehicle. It's his uh, Fiesta childhood's coffin-shaped race car bed called Crypt Crusher. Whoa. Again, another beautiful vehicle. My goodness. Obviously, this is a land um, terrain based vehicle with a huge wheel in the back, two wheels in the front, a coffin in the front. Uh, that's what he's riding in a coffin. I mean, I thought it was going to be, go I thought this was Ghost Dorsa's ride when I seen a picture of it before, but it's not. It is Fiesta's ride, and it's got a bone wheel, a bone, um, looks like, um, frame back here and a hand and a claw hold it <laughs> these people that are in, that are making these vehicles and characters I want to like shake their hand I want to walk up to them and say you guys are doing such a great job I said this in my last video there hasn't been one character that I am like no way I'm, I'm good I don't care about this character every single this right here <laughs> I'm not even thinking about Nightfall right now if you haven't seen Nightfall look at my last uh, video I just put up but this character at Fiesta my daughter's gonna go crazy when she sees this character Wow, like I said, Book of Life. Watch it. This just looks rem reminiscent of it. Love that. Love it. So, there you guys go. You got yourself, uh, uh, what's it, what's it? You got, um, Crypt Crusher right here. The beautiful design on the front, if I didn't mention that before. And you got yourself Fiesta right there. Wow. That's all I can say. Oh my god. I can't wait for this character. Alright guys, until next time, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to report everything I get. I love my dad. Spirit. Spirit.